Greetings, exalted one. I like making low poly pixel art. I'm here in Blockbench and I'm going to try to make Quaylag from Dark Souls. This is my fourth attempt at making Dark Souls characters in Blockbench. For the model, we're just going to block out the simple shapes. We've got the body and the lower head. They're just very, very low poly spheres made out of cubes. And then the legs are just a cube on a right angle and then essentially a pyramid pointing towards the ground. I was able to record modeling the torso for this video, unlike the last, and this one's very similar to my last character, so you'll be able to see how I did it. It does end up glitching out for a bit, but I just have to uh, flip the nozzles of some of the faces and it ended up being fine. The head is also just a cube with some loop cuts around it and modeled out to be like a very low poly sphere. And then the hair, I've just duplicated the head again and deleted the lower parts, then re extruded them. I do my same trick of rotating cubes at a 45 degree angle to try to mimic the shape of circles without having to add extra polygons. Here's where I start modeling the hair, I just kind of grab the duplicated head as I said before and extrude out all the parts I want. And we're going to star wipe to the texturing process. We're just going to use one solid colour at first for each different segment of the character. So the spider area, then the skin tone, and the hair tone. Then after that we'll go in and add all the darker shades, and put them underneath the character, underneath the arms, and on the side of the character, and then start doing the little details with it as well. So for texturing the spider body, I just block out the colours and do these banding lines, with the top part of the model being light and the dark bottom part of the model being dark. And I'm going to go in afterwards and try to break up those lines so it seems like the fur is being layered. Boobs. There you go, that got your attention. If I was like making this game, it'd be a more child-friendly game. So I've decided to give Quaylag a top. For the color palettes, I actually just mashed a bunch of different ones together. I couldn't find ones that had the right colours that I wanted for the spider body and for the skin tones and the hair. And I cobbled them together from the inbuilt palettes from Ace Bright and some that I've downloaded off a of low spec. I ended up removing that little eye on the side there just because it gets covered by the legs. I had the idea of making the hair on the head match the hair on the body, body in colour, but I wasn't liking it so I ended up switching it back to a dark brown later on. For the lower parts of the body, I'm using my trick which I've been calling the Minecraft technique which is just to duplicate the model and have it just be a little bit slightly larger or smaller than the original. And then we're not going to fully paint that one in, it's going to have a separate texture, and so it's going to have like a layer over the top, and that'll just add more depth to the model. I also tried to do that same trick with the legs to make it look like there were little hairs coming off of it. Let's star wipe to when I started modeling the fangs. They're pretty much the same as the legs, except a lot, lot smaller.
the hair on the actual head I found quite difficult. I actually ended up coming back to the texture after the recording. And they also did the eye textures during that stage as well, so you got to miss out on that part. For those, I actually ended up using Minecraft textures as a lot of reference, just Google searching and going through YouTube videos of Minecraft skins. Moving on to Quelag's sword, uh, it's originally supposed to be one of her legs, possibly just been ripped off, but I just went with my own thing. The original sword has like a spiderweb design around it, so I used just a checkable pattern to try to mimic that. I've uploaded the model to itch, so if you want to download and check it out for yourself, you can head over there. And we're gonna star wipe to the final results, and then we'll see how the model looks on a big box CRT display. I had some fun with the wireframe render. I changed it to green, and then in A-Sprite, I added a couple of frames in the beginning to make it look like it lo it's loading in. Thank you. 